In this video, we'll take a deeper dive into the cardiac cycle, specifically the phases of systole and diastole, which we briefly talked about in the prior video. Systole is marked by the closure of the atrioventricular valves, along with the S1 heart sound produced from the closure of those valves. The period immediately following this is called isovolumetric contraction, which, on this graph, is the time period between mitral valve closure and aortic valve opening. It's called isovolumetric contraction because it's the time when the ventricles start to contract and ventricular pressures increase, but there's no change in blood volume within the ventricles. Notice that as soon as the aortic valve opens, ventricular volume decreases, marking the period when blood is being ejected from the ventricles into the aorta. This period from aortic valve opening and aortic valve closure is called the systolic ejection phase of systole. It is marked by the decrease in volume within the ventricles as a result of it being pushed out into the aortic and pulmonary outflow tracts. This is the time, especially in children and young adults, where this turbulent movement of blood flow forward can result in a systolic murmur that can be heard normally in this age group. These are referred to as innocent murmurs. The point in time after the systolic ejection phase is where the aortic valve closes, and where it produces the S2 heart sound. This marks the end of systole and the beginning of diastole. Immediately following this period, we see that ventricular pressures decrease, and that drop in ventricular volume stops and remains stable. This is the first part of diastole called isovolumetric relaxation, and is marked by the period between aortic valve closure and mitral valve opening. It's called isovolumetric relaxation because there is no change in the volume of blood within the ventricles during this part of diastole. It's not until the mitral valve opens where we start to see increases in ventricular volume. This period is called the ventricular filling phase of diastole. At the end of all of this, the cardiac cycle occurs again, starting with atrial systole. Note that this is also a period where you could hear the S4 heart sound, and the period just prior to the closure of the mitral valve. This marks the beginning of the next cardiac cycle, and again, the beginning of systole. So to summarize, systole is a period when semilunar valves open, and the atrioventricular valves close, and is when the ventricles contract and blood is ejected from the ventricles. And diastole is when the semilunar valves close, and the atrioventricular valves open, and is when the ventricles relax after contracting and filled with blood. Think of this as the time when the heart is preparing for the next cardiac cycle.